A lot of people across the area are still dealing with damage from those tornadoes earlier this month. In Jessamine County, a unique bed and breakfast is hoping to get life back to normal for some of their unusual animals. LDX 18's Sean Moody shows us what that will take in the LDX 18 Big Story at 11. The Creekside Bed and Breakfast is usually the perfect place for some tranquility. It's just the quietness, the, the stillness of it all. Visitors here get to know a family of peacocks. This is Annie and this is Baby Blueberry. To Tiffany Lowry, they are family. They're funny little characters. Lowry's friends with the owner of the Bed and Breakfast. Out here on the lawn, Luke runs the place. He's like the Mac Daddy. Back on April 2nd, trouble blew into Creekside. It just came through. It blew peacocks and peacock cages everywhere. That EF1 tornado spared the big house, but left the peacocks homeless. It just totally bent everything and just destroyed it all. We've got one that we've tried to piece together, but it's so bent that we can't hardly open up the gates. It took a while for them to find all the birds. Um, she was missing for about three and a half, four days. So they'd been carried away in the storm, but they all found their way home. They were in shock. They just kind of stood there, and a couple of them just kind of fell over and laid there. For now, they're putting the peacocks up in the barn at night so the coyotes can't get to them. Come here, Doc. They also have to keep Luke and the other big male, Doc, away from each other. What we've done is we've went through and we've kind of pushed them together. They were fighting and peacocks, if they fight too much, they will kill each other um, over the peahens. They're hoping they can rebuild the peacock enclosures so the birds can get back to normal. Lowry believes it could cost into the thousands to rebuild it all. Cages that they did have was around seven grand. She started a GoFundMe account, hoping to raise enough to rebuild, hoping to get back to life before the storm. If anything happened to these peacocks, it would be like a death in the family. In Nicholasville, Sean Moody, LAX 18 News. If you would like to donate, we've got a link to the GoFundMe on our website, lex18.com.